Hey, y'all, what's going on? I got a Lenovo T430 with a BIOS lock on it. Uh, turn it on, and it goes straight to the lock. Let me try to go to the BIOS. Pressing F1, pressing F1, and it's locked. So, I go ahead, flip it over, get the um the access panel off. I'm looking for two points to short. Two points that you want to get to are under the CMOS battery. And you have to remove the CMOS battery and then you have to remove the um the covering uh protecting the motherboard. I also did the left side too, but it was unnecessary. I just took the whole thing off. But you just need to get that area clear under the CMOS battery. And the points that you need to short are in this in the area. I'm gonna leave the link in the description with some pictures just to show y'all exactly where it's at. So when I first started this, um, it took me probably about 10 tries to get it right. What you wanna do is, what I did was, I got, I got my uh, tweezers ready to go into the hole. I had, one side of the tweezers in one point of the hole, and I had the other side of the tweezer, the other side of the tweezers, um, ready to get inserted into the hole, like less than a millimeter like gap. This I'm right there, ready to go. I turned it on, started tapping F. I turned it on, shorted it, and I started started tapping F1, and um, because my timing was off, I had to uh, do it probably about ten times before I actually got it right. Once I did, I grabbed the other laptops and got to got going, and it was pretty straightforward from there. So once you do it once and get in your flow, it's pretty simple. But you gotta uh, start first. And when I grab the the laptops, they actually are mixed models, but they all have BIOS locks. So I got some T four twenties, T four twenty S's, and. Uh, I think that's it. After I got that wrapped up, uh, it was only four T four thirty, so I got those wrapped up with the BIOS locks, and I ended up putting Windows ten on every one. Uh, gave it an SSD and some more RAM, and yeah, that's it.